About three and a half years after its initial release, Overwatch has finally landed on Nintendo Switch. I put about 400 hours into the game on PC, so just how good of a job did Blizzard do porting it over? For those who may not know, Overwatch is a 6 vs 6, team-focused, objective-based hero shooter. Working as a team is key in this game, and nothing is quite as satisfying as when you have good chemistry with your allies and complete your objective. There are three roles to choose from, tank, damage, and support. Each role has a unique purpose and therefore changes how you'll tackle gameplay. There are plenty of heroes to choose from, currently 31 total, each with their own special abilities to master. Combine that with the variety of maps and objectives, and you'll quickly realize how much depth there is to this game. I'm happy to report that the Switch version is fully featured. All of the content you'd expect is here. Nothing important seems to be missing. There's even native voice chat, meaning you don't have to use the abysmal mobile app if you're wanting to have more direct communication with your teammates. The main difference between this version and others comes down to the visuals and frame rate. Overwatch on Switch runs at 30 frames per second both docked and in handheld. While I only noticed minor instances of frame rate drops in handheld, I did experience more drops while playing docked. It only happened when things got really busy on screen. However, it never felt unplayable and things would quickly smooth out after the chaos ended. In terms of visuals, it doesn't look bad by any means. In fact, it looks great in handheld mode. But if you're playing on a large screen while docked, the less detailed textures become more noticeable. But it's definitely not ugly or distracting. Overwatch is also an online-only game. You can't even get past the title screen if you're not connected to the internet. Strangely, there's no local wireless play, which seems like a missed opportunity for a system that's portable. Thankfully, the game does come with a three-month membership for Switch Online, which is good for those who may not have signed up yet. Throughout my time with the game, I never experienced any noticeable lag and never experienced a disconnect. That's in regards to playing with both Wi-Fi and Ethernet. My connections were always smooth. It honestly felt the same as when I play on PC. Queue times for matches basically depends on what role you pick or what mode you're playing. It varies heavily, but it never took too long to find a game. As I said earlier, the game packs all of the content and features that have been added to other versions. You have Quick Play, which features a role queue system and is the standard Overwatch rule set. Then there's Arcade Mode, which is basically your more casual experience. Things like Free For All, Mystery Heroes, and Seasonal Modes like Junkenstein's Revenge can be found here. You can even create your own custom lobby for friends or make it public. There's also all of the skins, emotes, and other goodies that you can unlock for heroes. Your primary source of unlocking these will come through loot boxes. You'll mainly get these from leveling up, although sometimes they'll be rewarded to you for simply playing a certain mode or queuing up as a highly demanded role. You can also buy loot boxes with real money, but honestly, I've never done this because it doesn't feel necessary, so it's hardly intrusive. There's also in-game currency you'll earn from playing, which can be used to purchase any available items. Some items will only be unlockable during certain events. Currently, the Halloween event is going on in-game, which means all of the spooky cosmetics and such are able to be acquired. As far as Switch exclusive features go, there isn't much to speak of aside from the gyro controls. The default settings for the gyro controls felt a bit off, but after some tweaking, it felt very natural and fluid. And for the record, you can use gyro controls with any control scheme. I've played a lot of Splatoon with gyro controls, so this is a very appreciated feature. The game felt great to play with either a pro controller or in handheld mode. But unfortunately, there's a bit of an input delay if you're using detached Joy-Cons. Hopefully they'll fix this problem in the near future for those who prefer that control scheme. Overwatch on Switch is not the definitive edition of the game. But if you still have yet to play the game and lack access to another platform, I think it's a fine enough version. The price is $40 and comes with certain skins already unlocked, plus the three-month online membership. If you're skeptical, I'd say wait for a sale. But I've been having a lot of fun with this version, despite some of its issues. Overall, I'd recommend this title. It's a solid port, and if you're dying to try the game, now's your chance. It may be an old game, but there are still new things being added to it, and plenty to discover for a new player. Just don't go in expecting the performance or visuals of other platforms. And if you already hated Overwatch, then this version won't change your mind. 
Anyway, that about does it for this review. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you later.